Hello. So, uh, my friends and I thought it'd be cool if we made an alpha Minecraft server. So, we got one running, and a lot of people joined with the standard Minecraft launcher just like this. Went to multiplayer, joined the server. Uh, but when they got on, we had a bit of a surprise um, for everyone. And as you can see, um, they type hi on the chat. I'm called player524, not my username, dude123 lego. Um, and the problem with this is that everyone who joined the server playing on the new ver playing on the new launcher is automatically player524. So this is an inventory inventory shared with like 30 other people, um, which is definitely a problem. Although, uh, I found a solution for this for people who got a new computer and don't have bin folders in the dot .minecraft, um, which is what you would need to run it. So, anyway, so I'm just going to show you quickly how to... Um, actually play it with your actual username properly. So what you want, first thing you want to do is uh, these all these links will be in the, the, the description as well. Um, so just download, click here to download archive.zip. Next is just to go to minecraftversions.net. Also, this will also be in the description. Um, and just find what you want. In this case, it's alpha 1.2.6 in the client. Uh, and then uh, and then also this is minecraftforums.net and you want to download uh, Windows or Mac, whatever you have. And if you're using Linux, uh, you can, I've done this before um, on Ubuntu, you can download the Windows uh, executable and then you're able to, uh, and then you're able to just run it with Wine because it's pretty old, it, it won't lag, it's okay, it works. So, first thing is unzip the file. Okay, next is you want to create a new folder and just call it bin, all lowercase. Uh, and then just put all the contents that you unzipped into here, to the bin folder. Um, and what I'm going to do is this minecraft.jar, minecraft.jar, and there's three minecraft.jars. So I'm just going to delete all of those. And we're going to replace it with the client.jar, and we're going to rename that to minecraft. So minecraft.jar goes into the folder, uh, and the, so that's whatever that was. That this one is Minecraft 1.2.6. Um, so whatever version you downloaded from over here, the file from there, na nickname it dot Minecraft and put it into your bin your fake bin folder that you just made. Uh, next, um, if you're in Windows, you go percent app data percent. Um, if you're on Linux, you're able to go to your, you can go to your, um, folders and you can go, I think, um, control H and show hidden files and then find dot Minecraft. And on Mac, I forget, but there's, there's a search option. Do you just, just Google that quickly. Um, so anyways, you can see in here, I already have a bin folder and it's ident it's exactly identical to this one, but, but just to show you that it works, um, I'm going to go over here and delete this bin folder, completely delete it, so it's not there anymore, and we're going to use this bin folder, now it's in, now it's, where is it, now it's in here, um, and this is the old Minecraft launcher, the very, like, the very old one, and then, when you load it up, you can see it's the classic one, so just sign in with your information, Log in, and it, will, it won't let you log in online because this is an updated version of Minecraft, but it works. Click connect. And now I'm in uh, the world, you can see. With, my, act, with actually my stuff, I type in the chat, and it's my username, it's my account. Um, yeah, and there's also a, a little trick you can do on this thing as well. So, if you're playing with the old launcher, like this. You can even type inside really whatever you want. So you can call yourself, um, I don't know, Notch. Click log in. Play offline. And join a server. And then, I guess someone else already did this, but I just thought it'd be funny. Um, and then you, there you go, Notch. Uh, so you can maybe even trick your friends if you decide to do this for yourself. But yeah. Um, the server dot the server dot jar from me running the server I forget where I downloaded it from, 
I'm sure you can find it on some Minecraft forums. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope I helped you out, um, because when I was trying to figure this out, I had a little bit of trouble the first time finding all the files, so I hope this is helpful for anyone wanting to do this. Um, here we go.